Hi guys, it's me, Rick Verde, coming back at you, uh, giving you some advice for all beginner writers. Um, and this time, I want to discuss with you something that I believe is the enemy to all beginner writers. And no, it's not the enemy that you have chosen to be the antagonist in your novels. It is something that I believe and I have found through going through various chat rooms uh, has been the enemy of many writers. Um, even some that have written a few books and that is distractions. Um, it's something that even I'm having a hard time coping with. Uh, and by distractions, I mean Cell phones, cell phones, cell phones, cell phones, cell phones, yes, cell phones, God, I don't know who invented this, um, I remember growing up and anytime you had to call somebody, you had to go find a pay phone or use your home phone and it was the ro rotary phone, remember those, um, you really hated some people because they had the nines in their in their phone yeah pain in the ass people but um now phones are all easy you've got games on them why do i need games on these phones and the worst thing is these damn games are addictive they're just like freaking going to the casinos and the worst thing is you, you can't even beat these games freaking annoying they should be banned there should be a law against them and some people are really addicted they they put their money into them just so they could get to the next levels and um for what you can't even beat them they're never ending it's freaking annoying and then you got i mean hey watching me on youtube but youtube's addictive too god i watch joe rogan all the time uh but i mean geez facebook i got facebook on here I got ESPN on here. I got my banking information. I mean, I shouldn't have that, but I do. I, I got my, I got Amazon on here. Uh, Stitcher, Netflix. God. Uh, I really do have to get rid of some of this stuff. Jeez. Woo. Twitter. Prime Video. Got shortcuts to people that I talk to. My boy Ant. Anthony from New Jersey, shout out. I'll be out there in November for his wedding. My boy Will. I love Will. Will's a good friend. Pain in my ass. Yeah. Yep. Can I say ass on on this YouTube? Yeah, well. He took up two hours of my time talking about getting hit uh some baseball game. Uh Atlanta Bra he's a Atlanta Braves fan. One of his players got hit in the arm or leg with a ball to start off the game. Two hours of my time, two, two hours of my time, arguing with me if it was fair for the guy to get hit at the first pitch of the game. I'm old school, yeah, it's fair, okay, I'm sorry. I had to get that out, but two hours, two hours. I could've been writing for two hours, dude. Two hours arguing with him. Twitter, Instagram, all this, oh God. This is an enemy, enemy of your mind, God. Turn this off. I, I really believe there should be a law that says we have to turn this off at least three, four times a freaking week or something. I don't know. Some, something to get us off. I mean, this, this is the new age crack cocaine or something. I don't know. I went to a Smashing Pumpkins concert the other day, and my wife was right. I, I was literally on this phone the whole time recording the whole concert instead of enjoying the moment. Smashing Pumpkins, my favorite, one of my favorite bands. I mean, Melancholy and Infinite Sadness got me through high school. Zero is one of my favorite songs of all time. Ugh. Total distraction. As I'm talking to you guys right now, the television is on. Another distraction. Television. Video games. I got an Xbox One. Video games. I'm 39 years old, people. Video games. DVDs. I have DVDs. Ugh. God, I don't even know how many I have. And literally, I, The Dark Knight and Fight Club are probably the ones I watch the most. Uh, books, I don't count them as distractions because I read all the time. But I used to have a library of books, probably close to like 
eaten a hundred something books. I had to whittle it down because uh, I have a fractured vertebrae in my back and uh, I can't lift heavy things. So when we moved into this apartment, one, we didn't have the space and two, I couldn't lift all those books in the bookshelves that I needed for them. So now I have an itty bitty thing that only holds like 30 books. And as I read, I give away books. So it's a shame that I really love my books. But okay, back to distractions. I mean, this is ridiculous. I mean, television, my DVR, is, I have like 60 things on there to watch and I'm never gonna watch it. Netflix, I, there are things on there I'll never watch. Amazon Prime, again, I, I basically the only thing I'm gonna watch on there is Jack Ryan and that's only because I love John Krasinski. So turn off your phone, turn off the television. Uh, websites, turn, get, do not go through the internet when you're gonna write because the internet is a rabbit hole. It is literally, you'll start looking for one thing. When I was writing, uh, my big uh, book takes place in Clearwater, Florida. All I wanted to do was look up one thing in Clearwater, Florida. I got sidetracked with other things. And next thing you know, an hour or so passes by and I was not writing. So whatever you do, get everything you need ready for when you're going to write. Do not go online. Online is insane. Okay. It will take you off track and the and just mess you up okay just don't go on don't 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 have everything you need ready okay take notes print it out i i know i know you're all gonna say hey don't print it out you're you're killing trees well i, I used to live in jersey and i had that point of view too i moved to california wildfires they're saying now on television that hey it's good to kill some of these trees so hey i'm doing them a favor i'm killing trees okay so do that. Uh, another one is music. I know I've talked to some people who say that uh, they listen to music because it helps them think. If you're one of those people, fine. That's cool. But uh, for others, it's a distraction. For me, it's a distraction. And the reason why is because, again, like I said, one of my, my favorite band is the Smashing Pumpkins. Second is Aerosmith. I also love Local H. But for the most part, I listen to hard rock music. I don't listen to softer stuff for the most part. I do have some Frank Sinatra and some, you know, softer music. But for the most part, I want to rock out. Uh, can't have it. Um, I was talking about my friends earlier, Will and Anthony. And I have a friend named Andy also. Uh, my wife. Uh, I love my wife. Love her dearly. Uh, married. Sorry, ladies. Um, you got to stay. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm doing this and my, my phone just goes off. Uh, listen, oh yeah, I love my wife. I love, I love. But when you're trying to write, people try to talk to you and it's like, it'll kill your flow. So you got to get away from people. I live in a studio, I can't do anything about it. So I gotta find ways to write that, um, you know, I gotta tell my wife, hey, I'm gonna do some writing um, and she's good about it. She'll le let me be. So she's great about it. I'll turn off my phone. She'll put on her headsets to watch the television, but it's still hard because the TV's on. I get a little bit distracted sometimes, but for the most part, she's good. Um, what else was I going to say? Uh, if you are lucky, and I'm hoping to be one of the lucky ones, and you have a house, try to find a place that's isolated. Get your own room. Get your own, make it an office. Make it comfortable. Whatever suits you that gets you in the mood to write. Me, I like having a cup of coffee. I like having water next to me. I, you know, I got a big jug of water. Uh, you can actually see in the background, kind of over the lamp over there, that teal little bottle, big bottle there. That holds about uh, eight cups of water, uh, 64 ounces. So that's a whole day's thing of water. That will sit by me while I write, okay? Um, 
because I don't want to get up every time I'm thirsty. I drink like crazy. Uh, and I don't want to have to get up and drink to go get water. So that is my thing. Just make yourself comfortable and just write as much as you can. Stay hydrated. Uh, have your notes ready. Just find yourself a quiet place. Um, all, all these things, I mean, all these distractions, they, they really are the enemy of creativity. And the only way you're ever going to get your book done is to basically put yourself in a cocoon. Just get away from everybody. Get away from everything. And, I mean, if you were to do this, I mean, think about it. Uh, I don't know how fast you guys can type. I can't type as fast as I used to. I literally have nine functional fingers. Uh, this pinky does not bend all the way. So I can't type as fast as I used to. Uh, torn ligaments in it. So I'm all screwed up. I'm 39. I'm all screwed up. Um, so if you can type, uh, I used to be able to type 65 words a minute. I'm probably down to like 40 or 45 because of this pinky being all screwed up. Um, but if you could type 65 words a minute and you work on your book, I don't know, three, four times a week uh, for two to three hours, how long will it take you? Not that long. And like I was saying, do that uh, uh, challenge. It's like N-A-N-O-W-R-I-M-O. -O. Hashtag, hashtag in front of that. Look it up if you're a writer and you're beginning. Um, almost all writers participate in that. And I think it's great. I mean, suppose most of them only do it in November. I do it all year. Like, I'll challenge myself. I can't do it in November because in November I'm going to be in, in New Jersey for my friend's wedding. I'll be out there for a week. It'll be kind of hard for me because I'll only have like three weeks. And even between those three weeks, I have other events and things I have to do in November. So I'm done. I'm out this November. I'll probably either try it in October or December. Um, but I don't want to go it's a good way. Hey, Look, when the TV turns on, I know. Um, just do your best. I mean, just give it a try. Go all out. Turn off everything. And I say, hey, if you like what you hear, hit the subscribe button. Ring that button. And you can reach me at Twitter, uh, Instagram, and Facebook. And listen, I'm always here to give advice. Um, I, I want to help people. That's the only reason I'm doing this. I'm not really uh, into it for anything other than to help people. Uh, it was a struggle for me. And I know people are struggling out there. I, best advice I can give you, um, stay away from distractions. Join as many uh, groups as you can on Facebook about writing, especially for beginners. And uh, just work on through it. Just plow through it, guys. Just It's tough, but it's worth it. Don't think you're going to be rich. Don't think you're going to be Stephen King. Don't think you're going to be any of these famous writers, like J.K. Rowling or whoever you want to aspire to be. If you luck out and you become one of them, God bless. But uh, just do your best to be you. Okay? Stay humble. God bless. Have a good day. And again, this is my book that I finished. This is Killing Xenu by Rick Verde. And you can find this on Amazon. And I'll leave the link to this book below. You can also get the, the uh, what do you call it? the Kindle version for a lot cheaper. So have a good day.